Well, this week on our Community Spotlight, shines on a small boutique shop and art studio that has an outreach around the world. Our Josh Peterson has more. Nestled along 3rd Street across from City Hall in downtown Bemidji, there is a new business that just opened its doors this past February that is inspiring others and causing social change. We are a nonprofit organization that runs the boutique as a nonprofit to fund our ministry work and also other nonprofits and other nonprofit um, organizations locally and internationally. Purchases that are made in the shop are used to fund projects and mission trips all over the world. Some of the items that are for sale are a result from previous mission trips. Products that are brought back from those trips are then put up for sale in the boutique with the profits going back to those who made the product. We actually work with both fair trade and direct trade with different organizations internationally that support mostly women and children in social entrepreneurship. And so um, right now we're working with two groups in Uganda and Kenya directly where we purchase the items directly from them, and then we know that the money all goes towards their needs. The thing that is so unique about this shop in downtown Bemidji is that within a week, a team from this boutique will travel halfway around the world to grow their business relationships, but also to connect with kids. I'd really like to slow down and find out who they are as individuals and to capture that and to tell their story and also to work with them, um, giving them a space to find out even who they are. And in the process, I know I'm going to be learning who I am a little bit better, too. Sponsoring children on the other side of the world is another program least of these offers. Items from eight different countries showcase the hard work and talent from those who live in third world countries. We have a women's group in Uganda of about 60 women who this is their primary way that they support their family is through this project. Um, we also have products such as bags and baskets and scarves and all kinds of different really neat um, artistic things that people make over in the third world countries and then we bring them here. The business of positive social change is growing quickly. Beginning in September, the least of these will open a make and take art studio for those who want to explore or grow their artistic skills. With this week's Community Spotlight, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. For more information on the mission trip or the least of these boutique and art studio, you can visit their website at handsofactioninternational.org or find them on Facebook. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.